Hey guys, Happy New Year. Um, 2019 was a pretty cool year considering the fact that I opened my artist account kind of thing and I've been posting stuff since then in the summer and along with that comes a whole year of making cool things out of foam and so I decided to make a video out of all the guns I've made from 2019 to 2020. So let's hop into it. So the first thing is this trench knife. It's based off of Artyom's knife from um, Metro Exodus. And it went for my Mandalorian Star Wars costume I made last year. And it's based off of his knife, but it's more customized for Star Wars. As you can see, it has a button to electrocute the blade. And yeah, I really like it because it's all weathered and stuff and the grip and the guard is really cool looking in the knife. I weathered very well and I like how it looks real. The next thing is this Kalashnikov. It's AK-47, as you may have guessed. It's full scale and yeah, the iron sights are accurate. Um, the wood is not that great. I'm not too happy about how I did the wood. It's just a plain solid color, but everything is painted accurately besides like textures. The magazine comes out. Um, the slide does not rack though, but yeah, it's just, this is an AK-47 Clash of Rifle. Shoot 7.62. Basic AK-47. Here are my dual pistols. Um, I made these for my Mandalorian costume as well. Um, they're both Star Wars guns. I don't remember, I don't recall the name. It's some odd numbers, but they're both pretty cool looking. I like how I weathered these. These are really tons and tons of washes, blue and orange and red and tons of colors you wouldn't expect. I washed, so basically I just added water to the paint, smudged it in every crack and nook and cranny you can find in here, and then washed it all away with a paper towel. And what stayed, stayed, and it looks really, really cool. It has like leather grips and stuff, and I think they look pretty sweet. Here we have a Beretta M9, or M9 Beretta. Um, I painted it, the metal, with camo, and then a blue stripe down the back. Um, it's pretty sweet. It's not 100% accurate, but it's a cool gun to have and it looks real from a distance, so it's pretty sweet. Um, it'll probably make it into a film at some point, but yeah, it's a sweet looking gun. It's got a mag holder. I don't know. It's cool. Alright, second big gun. Um, we have the Car SMG from Titanfall. Um, gun's pretty sweet, it's like a paint job, orange and white, or black, orange and white. It's pretty sweet, the handle's nice, I don't know what else to say about it, it looks pretty sweet. In the game, it's a full auto SMG, um, rack there, bags here, pretty sweet gun. Here is the Wingman from Titanfall. Also a very sweet gun, my second favorite gun, I think. Um, I don't know. It's a sweet revolver, I think it holds six rounds. It's either six or eight rounds. Really cool looking gun. Really, really fun. Really sweet. Very enjoyable. The cylinder was supposed to be made to come out, now it only comes out for like whatever purpose the drum would have to come out for. It's not for photos or videos or anything, it's supposed to stay in. But it looks really sweet. The paint job is very cool. I've weathered it very nicely. And I'm really proud of this one. I like it. And then also on the trend of Titanfall 2, which has been big this year, um, we have the RE45 Auto, I think is what it's called. It holds 20 something rounds, I forget. It's full automatic. It's a pistol, obviously. Um, there's not much special about the foam one that I made. The in-game is very, very fun. This one is from Titanfall 1, I think. The other two were from Titanfall 2, and this one's from 1. So, a bit off there, but 
Um, this here is my old Colt revolver from the Wild West, if you please. Um, very cool looking gun. Um, it's very shiny. I did a multiple clear cut. Very cool. Cylinder pops out. You can load your bullets. Hammer goes back. Trigger gets pulled. Very fun. Cool looking gun. I think it was based off of a gun in Red Dead Redemption. So I thought I'd make it in real life. And yeah. Really sweet looking gun. Very cool. The front's not that detailed, so you can see. But everything else is really cool. The last thing on the list, technically was started last year, but it's coming out this year, so it's a sneak peek, but it is a Glock model. That's the only hint I'm giving you, so you have to tell me what Glock model it is in the comments based off of the bottom half of the gun. The, if you tell me after the video came out, then that's not right. Um, so yeah, if you guess it right, I'll DM you on Instagram and I'll see what I can do for something of a surprise. I don't know. But yeah, this is the Glock. So those were all of the guns, I think, I might have missed one, that I did in 2019. And yeah, pretty sweet. Some great projects will be coming out next year or this year, like the Glock model you just saw, the AK-74, AK um, which is highly anticipated, I guess. A lot of people have wanted to see it. But yeah, there'll be a lot of functioning parts on that, and it'll be a really sweet gun. That's why it's taking a while. But yeah, um, a lot of cool guns coming out this year. A lot of cool guns I did last year, and you just saw them all. So um, thanks for sticking with me the whole video. But yeah, thanks for your support, guys, and um, I'll see you next time.